All right. Are Svavar these... taking everything that has ever... That, his entire trip to Europe, from Europe, was in his pockets there, I think. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I do the same thing. I take all my stuff out of my pockets. It's, no, it's, it's I don't true. know. Yeah, it, it's I do just, the same uh, thing. My pockets explode the moment I sit down. Yeah. <laughs> you want to stay agile, don't want to be too weighed down. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Especially when you're quick tapping. Yeah, it, it, it disrupts your T-spins. All right, we got readies from both players. Three, two, one, Tetris. <laughs> all right, and with that uh, seed set, we have Svavar and Shaki. And I just want to put a reminder to everybody. Uh, the... Camera to boards are swapped, so Svavar's board is on the left. You can see it at the top of the scoreboard, mm -hmm. uh, just so not to be mm. confused by that. Yeah, can, I mean... Are you able to easily flip the video? That's what we usually do in the CTDWC. I... Next time. I philosophically disagree with okay. mirroring video. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we won't fight yeah. you. This is your home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then, and what a lovely home it is in the House of 3000. 21 Ludlow Street, come on down to see live competitions like this, or Smash Brothers is the main event, uh, generally at this venue. Svavar, uh, finally Tetris ready again. Shaki struggling a bit through the board. Boom, Tetris for Svavar. Uh, clearly, I mean, when you see both players having that kind of traffic, you know oh. it's a difficult board. Svavar missed the L spin there, which is going to add some more traffic to his board. Shockey really needs... Okay, safety triple, followed by the Tetris. That was really good control on Shockey's part. Uh, taking that opportunity to open up a bit of a lead over Svavar, who is still struggling yeah. up near the top. Shockey is now in a much more comfortable position. Ooh, that's a that's oh, tight. Nice oh, nice dirty triple. Oh, dirty, I mean dirty triple. Uh, dirty Tetris from Svavar. Mm -hmm. uh, coming all the way back down and only uh, uh, less than a Tetris separating. Uh, the you know have, haven't seen the lead swap too much. Shockey pulls ahead, but Svavar catches up back again. And uh, we have seen in uh, the chat some support from the Tetris communities in Iceland, Denmark, and Sweden. Uh, shout outs uh, to all of the players uh, in all parts of Europe supporting the three time European champion Svavar in his, uh, I believe, his Xeno Zero debut. <laughs> I, I believe you're correct on that. <laughs> uh, g g given that. Uh, uh, we, you know, New, New York City uh, is proud to claim as a transplant now Svavar. Uh, hopefully we'll see more of him at uh, events like this. More of him and his, uh, his very tightly competitive uh, clean board against, uh, against Shockey, who's dealing with a little bit of traffic. Svavar set up for a couple different tucks. Yeah, he's really... Yeah, he just couldn't wait for those pieces to show up. He's going to have to find another way around it. Well, and that's that's going to allow Shockey to open up the lead a bit more as long as he can maintain that scoring percentage. 79 line, 70 lines about. Oh, 215 very for Shockey. nice dirty Tetris from Svavar there to uh, prevent the lead from growing too fast. And now he is in the lead. Uh, by a thousand points. So nice job on Svavar's side there. Yeah, uh, that as we talked about, consistency is going to be key. And uh, I mean, Shaki, the the kind of variance that you are able to tolerate when you're in a game with seven bag is just so different from the variance that you need to be ready for your board to accommodate when you're dealing with classic. Uh, for those of you of not as Im immersed in the scene as some others. Seven bag is the s uh, system in the modern games where you know you will not have a drought of more than 13 pieces between long bars. And that lets you take different kind of risks. As we've seen many times today in classic Tetris, there is no such system. Yeah, we have as close to random RNG as we can get here on the NES. Um, both players doing very nicely, very, very clean boards. And uh, the necks are out as uh, Svavar and Shaki are trading <laughs> leads. Very true. An old school neck and neck up in here. 
325,000 to 319,000 at uh, 100,000 lines, entirely respectable. Uh, arguably, uh, you know, th 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 there's potential for max out in these scores for both players. It's it would be great to see a max out from Svarbar. He's told me he's gotten a, a thousand max outs, or if not more. Um, he just grinds and grinds, and uh, I would, oh, that's savable, but yeah, definitely not ideal for Svavar. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll see, especially with Shaki in uh, having a really good sloping board. Yeah, that is set up. That's what a, how a teacher would teach Tetris to their, their students, that kind of board. I mean, Shaki, Shaki has written one of the books on uh, modern Tetris in a very literal sense. Uh, and is now going to be running away. Looks like we're on track for a transition in the 440 range if he transitions for the Tetris, uh, which is, you know, the, the, the low side of max out, certainly max out. Oh, 426. And Svavar uh, on pace. Max Gonna out's pretty near impossible at that point. It's a little uh, tough, but... but uh, um, Honestly, that doesn't mean anything for who's going to win this game. Um, so, because the scores are still neck and neck here. So, Svavar so. has a measure, I, I think, me measurably better board health uh, running in. Yeah. And uh, given the deficit in lines, that has a bit of a pace lead to the extent that's still relevant, which, uh, as I said, Super Shocky can hyper tap. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not aware of his extensive post kill screenplay. Uh, so I think we can still say pace is a factor. Exactly. The only difference is that Super Shocky, with his hyper tapping ability, has a higher chance of being able to get pieces over to the left and right. And so can play a little more risky, whereas Favre is going to have to play safe because he only plays with the DAS um, play style. Yeah. I mean, so much has changed about you know, everything about how Tetris is played and what's considered reasonable in the last five years <laughs> or so. For sure. Oh, all right. Svavar had to cover up a little bit there. Sh Shaki is actually playing with, uh, I, I think, I think knowing the ways that the randomness can take someone out of their depth quickly. Ooh, Svavar has got a lot of long bars in a row there that made his board just a little more difficult. He's hoping for the right pieces to dig himself out of this. Yeah, but Shaki has okay. been playing so safe, so the, the, the score differential is not as huge as it might have been. Um, no. Oh no! Oh, that's a tough. That's a tough hang. Savable. Oh, oh this is going to be difficult. That I think that's going to be game one. Wow. And Super Shocky, five hundred sixty-six thousand will top out, taking game one. And some good luck. Swig of beer from on Swabar. Swabar. Uh, 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 grape juice. Apple juice. Grape yeah. juice. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> apple juice. Oh, wait, we have to. See. Stell apple juice. <laughs> uh, did, some D cider. Some D cider. Three, two, one, Tetris. All right, and an entirely respectable game one. Uh, Shocky, Shocky, just you know showing off some some tucks for swag, getting this going. Though uh, both players are ready with a tuck. Svavar uses it to fill out his board. Almost Tetris ready. Tetris ready. Shaki getting a little bit up there. Again, another pristine board for Super Shaki there. Perfect slope. And as we're talking about uh, the things that have changed, things that have not changed, uh, Svavar is notably one of the... Oh! Oof. Shaki had to... And so, I, so that, I think, actually relates to um, an early DAS shift yeah. uh, because he's used to playing on emulator. That's my guess at what that um, error was. That makes sense. That makes sense. What were you going to say, though? Uh, I was going to say, Spavar is uh, 
So for those of you who've been keeping up with many of the changes that have happened in the community over this last uh, last while, uh, Game Scout put out a video recently about uh, professional Tetris players. Uh, Svavar was one of the early recipients of sponsorship uh, as a Tetris player as a bar in his uh, t hometown in Denmark at the time uh, paid right. for his transportation to the CTWC as long as he would wear their shirt uh, during competition, which he did. <laughs> We'll have to ask him the name of that bar again and see if he can't continue on with that here in the U.S. Uh, g g give them a shout-out, uh, possibly in the post-game interview. Uh, and we'll um, see. Uh, Shockey could really use a bar about yeah. now. Ooh, needing to take the safety triple and fight his way down. Dirty Tetris still. Uh, and uh, even despite that situation, uh, maintains the lead, actually. Svavar uh, getting a little bit of a spire going in the center. Yeah, that T piece certainly helps him out a lot there. Tetrising into the lead and then out of the lead. A, uh, a, a real dead heat, even though Shaki is slightly ahead on lines. So, but still, uh, g given that dead heat in terms of actual pace and score potential. And a nice flat board on Svavar's side. Chucky got the slope down. Really, let's just see who maximizes. Changing to a center well. Sometimes you gotta do it. Mm -hmm. I was locked into a center well for a long time on my last game. Um, couple of my last games and uh, I mean it, it, it takes a lot of control to actually keep that going ooh Shockey oh taps it over oh wow that is it looked a little chaotic but he really pulled it together there that was some incredible discipline maintaining the center well and holding on to the razor thinnest of leads uh, and actually it's not even a pace lead given the, the line differential. Uh, Svavar getting a little bit of Swiss cheese, but... Uh, That'll be clean in two seconds. Is, is it, maybe Danish or Icelandic cheese, I guess, in his case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boom, touch for Shockey. Shockey really likes these tucks. I'm, I've been seeing a lot of them from him. Um, I mean, that's the modern sort of style. style. Yeah. Uh, I, we saw it... it he had uh, multiple T-spin setups. Uh, one actually relatively close, and in his first match against Svavar, we saw. Uh, I heard uh, John and RJ commentating about how you know, T-spins, while possible, are a lot more risky in the classic scene than they are in modern. Very true, and not even any more points. No, no points. No garbage. No tiny high-pitched puyo puyo voices telling you <laughs> T-spin. Or anything along those lines. It just happens, and maybe you feel good about yourself for a few minutes. I mean, if you got the right kind of audience, you definitely get a really solid cheer. That's and, true. That's true. Uh, I mean, I was, I was <laughs> even though I wasn't the one pulling them off, I was feeling it when I was hearing it happen around me when I was playing. So, some more interesting tuck builds from Shockey. Uh, Svavar continuing up, oh, getting the lead and uh, holding on to it. Shockey really needs some bars at this point. Oh, making a, a, a sacrifice for his board health and stays Tetris ready under that well. But let's let's see if that pays off. Oh, uh, pretty nice cleaning up there. Mm -hmm. And Tetris uh, came right when he needed it. Uh, Svavar has been dealing with. Uh, Similar complications, unfortunately. Yeah, this has been probably the most, like, consistently close game. Uh, Shaki transitions while, ahead of yeah. Svavar, uh, but... Uh, right, seconds later. Yeah. It's, um... And now we really see how Svavar's dash discipline pays off at 19 speed. 
uh, really just needs to keep going split double burns. It's not, he's not getting Tetris ready at the rate that you really want to be doing. Yeah. Just doing Shocky the, the ready for the dirty here. center well. Oh, still ready. It. Oof. That's, that's gotta, that's gotta be a relief. Svavar is open for oh, business. Oh, wow. He's really going high. Should be getting his... He should have a bar coming very shortly. Oh, wow. Oof. That and was... I, I think that was the last absolute second that he could have gotten that and been safe. Um, that was really being risky on his part. Clutch, bail, and boom. Oh, Tetris and Super Shocky is topping out. Oh. Uh, uh, Svavar needs 2,000 points. Uh, he is certainly quite achievable. And there it is. And that'll do it. Wow. Svavar. That, that, you the, glance away for two seconds, and then a, a board changes dramatically there. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The journey of the bracket reset begins with a single game. <laughs> Let's see how Svavar handles it. Game one, a good start. Oh. Little sportsman-like pat on the back. <laughs> Listen here, youngin. <laughs> I mean, what? It, tru very truthfully, the one of the great things about the Tester community is young and old, very accepting, very uh, accepting of people teaching each other and camaraderie across all sorts of lines in terms of uh, background, nationality, age, you know, uh, For sure. really, yeah. really strong, welcoming community. A lot of this, of course, nurtured by uh, Jonas Neubauer, for whom the new t uh, the Three, two, Tetris one, Tetris. Championship World Trophy is named. And his work as right. ambassador in the European scene. If you guys would like, we can look back at the... Uh, the end of that last game. Uh, oh, sure. This one starts. We, yeah. can, we, we can take a quick so look at the end of that one. Whoop. There you go. And right. uh, Shaki, uh, with the well covered, looks like we can see the sort of beginning of those troubles having covered the well once and not being able to leverage any of the bars. Open for business. Um. Tetris ready at this point. Oh, that's what it is. And that? it was the it was the hang on the left side yeah. that and really did two, it. Column two Tetris there, really just boom. Or column two line bar rather, just couldn't get over into column one. No, oh. no. And then that's just gonna that's just gonna be it. If you aren't if you aren't rolling, so, quick tapping. That's the thing. He he relies on his ability to quick tap it over or not quick tap to hyper tap it over there, mm -hmm. and. Just one failure, mm -hmm. one point of failure. I mean, that's same is true on Das, except uh, Svavar sort of has to play a little lower anyway. Mm -hmm. You can see that was up um, at the, was that six high? Mm -hmm. uh, no, seven high, seven high, which is impossible, I think, for Das. Yeah. Um, and then still difficult. I mean, for rollers, definitely doable, but HyperTap, you know, it, it depends on the kind of hyper tap. You, you need to hit that five tap if you're rolling it, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And we are at uh, a, a virtual dead heat. 123,000, roughly both sides, 125,000. Uh, Shockey just uh, keeping, it, keeping it consistent. Starting out with a couple tucks there. Maybe setting up something dirty. Ooh, it's not going to be. Got some really oh, unfortunate that's... pieces there, but the Tetris. You, you, you can burn it down. And... He set up for the dirt, the a relatively dirty Tetris. Not going to try for it. No. That's 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 discretion is probably the better <laughs> part of valor here. Uh, Svavar has maintained uh, much more scoring potential and pace, and is opening up a lead nearly. 196 to 145,000. Uh, Tetris for Shockey closing it up a bit more. Crossing 200,000 at 54 lines. Uh, real solid pace. Real solid pace. Yeah. Oh. That uh, was... I'm not sure what kind of misdrop that was. Um, you know, maybe it, may, maybe it's just trying to keep things but flat. Super amazing fast cleanup there. Um, that's, that's the kind of... 
attention to detail that Sravar has. Having those nice flat burns. And Tetris ready again. And taking advantage, Shaki able to do so shortly thereafter. Uh, not quite a Tetris ahead, but uh, pace-wise, a couple lines behind Shaki. So even though uh, Shaki takes the lead, Svavar playing nice and comfortably. This is, you know, reminding me of some of the older matches where, you know, Jonas always playing from behind. Might not look like he has the lead, but... Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, the instant you're cleaning up, you know, up high, which will, you know, especially for a hyper tapper, will happen, then you're suddenly cleaning out lines a lot faster than you expect. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we uh, got a difficult yeah. board here. It just needs, th okay, getting the pieces that he needs to clean this up, super shocky. Uh, um, it's got to hurt when you need to use a long bar to skim a single line. Yeah. Uh, Happened, uh, happened on both sides, unable to leverage the bar for maximum scoring potential, but Svavar Petrus coming into 350,000 almost. Shaki fighting as hard as he can. Svavar, uh, with that tuck, preserving right. the double well. Let's see if we can get to... Um, max out pace here. I mean, four, uh, 360 at 100 lines is, I think if 400,000 points at 100 lines is what you're going for. But if he gets a lot of um, mm -hmm. Tetris's right now, which he has been, then, you know, he definitely has the capability of getting max out here. I was really hoping for that J. Oh, that's exactly what he needed. The T... Tease him up for being Tetris ready. If only that line bar would come, and there it is. <laughs> Shaki. Holding out. Holding out for a hero. And there we go. Both players on a really strong pace here. Shaki certainly capable of uh, transitioning at 500,000. Svavar, uh, with that even in easier reach. Uh, we're definitely going to see 500k transition on Svavar's side. And as long as he does it with the Tetris, Super Shaki will have the same situation. 519. And there it is. To 505 in transition. So these is, uh, you know, let, let's get some pace horns in chat. If that's still a thing that people throw. <laughs> uh, pew, pew, pew. As long as you're subscribed to the uh, <laughs> CTWC that's true. Uh, channel or the CTM channel. Uh, I'm not sure if both or only one of those has the <laughs> horn emoji. Oof, a uh, oh. slight misdrop for Svavar is going yeah. to uh, make it a little difficult to maintain consistency, but this is this is this is survivable. Yeah, definitely survivable. This needs the right pieces, which he's it's getting some of them. He's getting the right pieces oh, to survive. He he's not getting the right pieces Z, to survive. That S, Ooh. and that is going to do it for Svavar. And Super Shocky already has it. Two, one, Super Shocky. So <laughs> we, I the goal here I think is to try to have some games that last into late nineteen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I I think for the sake of everyone watching here, it'd be great to see some kill screen action. Would love um, to see a kill screen with this uh, with these people. So uh, Svavar, uh, so 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 Shaki has. Uh, Shaki has a tournament point here. Svavar would need to take two games, reset the bracket, and then three more. But uh, game point begins. Game points start for Shaki now. Uh, tournament points begin for Shaki now. And neither one of them is uh, going to be making this easy. Both of them are locked in 
We have perfect games for both of them so far, and not a single burn. That's true. Although we just got a two pushdown points <laughs> from Super Shocky to make sure that if it He's comes down right. to it, you know, who All knows? Right. It might matter. Okay, we're gonna yep, start seeing a couple burn, burn yeah. lines. But you know that, that that was okay. Who knows? I mean, it it is. I believe. Uh, I, I don't know if anyone else has it, but one of the few players that has the perfect transition achievement is the other European champion, Yanni, uh, has the perfect transition achievement. That I did not know. In NTSC? In NTSC. I, I believe in NTSC. Um, the, I'm only aware of him having it because any time it ever came up in chat, has anybody ever done that? The answer was Yanni did. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I don't know if anybody else has done that. Uh, they're both at uh, crossing the 100,000 line, which, you know, while no longer technically speaking perfect, perfect, 100,000 or 120,000 in the range of 30 lines is still uh, pretty darn good. It's very clear here. Standards are just, you know, absolutely wild at this point of what even counts as good. Oh. Oh, some, some Super tough shocky. talks. I think was hoping to be able to do a like double tuck there with his hyper tapping, which I'm, I'm not sure how difficult that is. I know it is possible, but you have to get the timing near on, you know, perfect. E even at 18 speed, I think it's a two frame window for something like that. Yeah, that's 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 a hard one to you know ask for, but I think it, you know that was a, a, a miss drop on his part that led to that. So that wasn't an intentional. I uh, think he was going for. I mean, bold, bold, bold moves, and those are the kind of moves you have to make when you're playing against a champion. A uh, little Swiss cheese on Svavar's side, but he got the dirty Tetris to help him out there. Is he going to open and, and nice clear? Nice clean up. Very nice clean up. And Svavar back in. Back to a clean board state. Not yet open for business, but take long. Shocky Tetrises. So does Svavar. And around and around we go. Yeah, again, pretty close game here. We, we really haven't had any early top outs, any crazy, you know, runaways. Like, it's been really dead heat for all of these games so far. Okay, um, Sv Svavar is taking the opportunity to be very much locked in at this point. Shockey has had to take, but both players actually taking similarly timed uh, safety triples. Tetris is to follow. And almost simul Tetris there. Mm-hmm. They are they are do using the exact same pieces at the same time here. There's the simul Tetris. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always exciting yeah. when you actually see them synchronize in terms of pieces after they've been desynced for a while. It's so good. Another simul Tetris. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very impressive play from both these players. Pieces pretty much in sync. Da 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 da. Safety triple followed by a Tetris. Svavar. Head by about a Tetris. Yeah, just one though. They're really trading them back and forth. Mm -hmm. and say, this is this is a really solid match here. I mean, we'll see what they have at the transition, but if they keep this up, they will 100% be in max OP territory. Um, yeah, it's a, it's very similar transition pace to the last game, which ended with both players right oh, near 500. Very close uh, Z to the left there by Super Shocky. That this is uh, this is. Oh no! No one really no, needs no to get that over happy. to the right and can't do it. Super Shocky will top out, and Svavar takes game four. It is now 
Wow, this is this is a really exciting matchup here. Absolutely. Look at look at those smiles from our players there. They're having the you know time of their lives there. Well, well, well. Svavar thinks he can just come over to this <laughs> continent, barge into our Tetris tournaments, and show us what's what. Well, I mean, I guess that is the nature of the game. <laughs> All right. Well, we are, we are thirsty, and the only thing that can quench our thirsts is D cider. <laughs> Fortunately, that's what we have. Will Svavar manage to reset the bracket and then pile it back down? That's one way it could go. Wow. These are some, uh, well, I w the, the instant I was about to start a sentence, the situation changed where it was pretty clean, but now it looks like Super Shocky is just doing a little bit of, like, tiny cleanup to get to that Tetris. Mm -hmm. Um... Tetris there from Svavar. And Chalky gets the right J that he needs there, or L at that point, and gets the Tetris. Svavar. And a dirty Tetris. Going Svavar. dirty. Yeah. Try to catch me Tetris dirty. Try to catch me All Tetris right. dirty. All right. These, these guys are now back on a Tetris roll there after the tiny cleanup that they had, and they're really just swapping them back and forth. Some are starting to open up in terms of uh, pace, but yeah, that he unfortunately. The board, I mean, yeah. it's it's not Swiss cheese or anything, but he definitely has you know that clean up that slowed him down a bit. Um, but he's he's back to clean there now. I mean, th th that's the thing about Daz is you want to make sure that you are able to get to to your left side. You want to build it up, but you want to make sure you always have access to it. Yeah. Two hundred twelve to one hundred ninety-eight thousand. Svavar pulling away a bit further, but Shaki having the opportunity to keep it nice and tight. And uh, I would say entirely reasonable that we'll end up on pace again for four eighty to five hundred k transitions. Uh, I don't think we've seen a max out. Uh, uh, I mean, I was I wasn't paying attention yeah, to all no, the earlier no matches. no max out uh, earlier today. Would love um, to see one, especially for. You know, I mean, obviously, potentially final game. Yeah, a a any any max out is uh, is fun to watch, but yes, especially for this one, especially from you know uh, the European champion making his American debut. Temp uh, well. Uh, uh, Zeno Zero debut. He did tell me, uh, so he, he just moved to New York City about a week ago. He had never been to New York City before. Wow. He, he, he moved sight unseen. So it was New York debut. Certainly. This is, this is his coming out party. Oh, all right. These Tetrises just... Easily flowing from their fingertips. Svavar maintaining just a really nice clean board. Shaki having actually been doing the same for a while, but just not being able to overcome some of that earlier traffic. Four Svavar, 440 at 90 lines is very good. Yeah, no. Um, I am. Oh, can we get the right tuck in there? Or. Oh my goodness. Yes, he does it. He nails the spin tuck. He pulls it off. Has to cover. Oh, but, but he, is crea really he creates another dependency. Yeah. Perfect cleaning up. Just needs 
the right pieces to continue this. Svavar, what are you doing? Why are you giving us a heart attack? <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's because he knows he can't oh, let up. Oh, perfect. Oh, and the line bar exactly oh. at the moment he needed it. Incredibly that was incredibly satisfying. Yeah. Uh, wow. That traffic uh, means that the, that the lead is now only about a Tetris. But it has kept him on pace for the five for the better than 500k transition. Yeah, I mean this still will be a. I'm, I'm curious to see what he can do over the next 15 lines before transition. He he's um, got he has opportunity. I don't think you could get to 700, but you you could, can't get to seven. You can, you def can you definitely can get, get high sixes. You, you, you can get eh. six. You can get six. If he if he gets four three Tetrises here, he gets six. Yeah. He can do six. Uh, and a 600k transition is definitely, you know, max out money. All right, gonna have to take the burn there. But you know, he can still hit. Okay, he, he can hit an all. He he could hit a 600k transition if he gets a couple things other than a Tetris and then a Tetris. But honestly, we kind of hope that five 590 is perfectly solid. It's a perfectly cromulent yeah, transition. Just under 598. 600. You yeah. know what, Svavar? We'll say you got the 600k <laughs> transition. No one's going to check us. So 600k transition for Svavar. Shaki, uh, not that far behind. Uh, 587. And uh, a oh, little bit wow. off the ground. That pole vault he just did with that J was really impressive. That uh, was sick. Indeed. And now uh, we were trading back and forth. Super Shocky was in the lead for a half a second. And now back in the lead, and now <laughs> lost it again. And really the, trading these back the, and the forth. The necks are out, everybody. We have some truly impressive play right now. 19 speed. Oh, just that Sv one. Oh, what a nice cleanup by Super Shocky there. Sv Svavar keeping it a little bit lower to the ground, I think. Yeah, uh, he can't do it at that, those heights. Um, Ooh, oh, oh, oh no, really needs the line bar, gets it, does the cleanup. That oh. could have cost him. That was a very dangerous situation there, but he got out of it. He's back and, and now... takes the lead. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm just going to be quiet for a bit here, see how this I mean, lays out. Svavar is Tetris ready, takes it. Oh, Shaki needs Shockey's to get in a ready. bad situation here. Really needs that line bar to the left, gets it. Are, are uh, we seeing? Are, I mean, I, I don't want to call it too early, but it's the bracket reset is definitely a potential reality. Yeah, this is, oh. Getting stronger. Yeah, that's it. Shockey's going to need a lot to make this happen. Oh. That's it. And Svavar is in the lead, so he takes game Svavar has reset five. the bracket. Wow. Woo! Xeno Zero is going to be a little angry. We're going so long, they can't go to the next uh, next one here. But we're going to see some more amazing uh, NES Tetris coming is he up still here. still going? I have never seen oh, Tetris he, he's, he's like mulling this. here. I guess, it's the, I guess every, oh. every match is a potential PB, right? I mean, um, not for him in this situation. So I then what are we doing he, here? He, he yeah. could just he, to he, suffer. He, he could I don't, the the max kidding. out. The max okay. out would be nice. First max out in competition. Okay. New city, new country. It's not that far, and it's not that unlikely. Yeah, he, I feel it. He, he, feel it'll it. it'll be like a, a minute if he uh, can pull it off here. Right, yeah. So Sva Svavar reset the bracket. Game five. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> So close, so close. Good games he's, to both he, players he's there. He's saving the max out for the next round. <laughs> for the next round. Woo! I gotta say, did not know that was gonna happen, but what can we say? I mean, Zeno Zero with the most exciting possible outcome. Three, two, All right. one. And here we are at the final potentially five games and uh as they say true finals just like you know it was grand finals now it's true finals you know like uh the undertale endings right <laughs> <laughs> i Except, no, i feel like it's, it's definitely possible for them to i mean they, these two people are really so close in capabilities that getting another five games is 
I think, the most likely outcome here. Um, so, although, yeah, let's 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 clean that up, Super Shocky. <laughs> that uh, there we go. Nice journey, Tetris. My goodness. I wonder. Oh, wow! That was a good recovery can, from a very can, bad. Situation can we clip there. that? Actually, let's let's look at what just That's happened on. Want me to pull it up right now? Sure. Please. Yeah. Okay, it's, there you go. Let's uh, we'll wait until he is a little. Uh, he's out of this, and mm -hmm. then we'll. Oh, you want me to? Remove? Yeah, no, no. I, uh, you can you can keep it up. I'll keep just, it up. Just pause it case. to the. Uh, you can you can hit pause when you're at the moments you okay. want to talk about, mm -hmm. and then you can hit play whenever. Yeah, we're coming up real quick on it. Gets the Tetris, gets things a lot safer. All right, now he's, he's clean there. I don't know. I feel like we missed it. No, um, we, 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 we haven't missed it. It's, uh, it's this L. It's, oh, this, it's, L. This, it, oh, okay. it's this L that's going to land funny. Oh, right there. Uh, Boom. Yeah. But the fact that he was able to, I mean, actually, mm -hmm. a DAS player would not have been able to pull that off because yeah, he would have lost exactly. DAS. Exactly. So he could only do that because he's a hyper trapper. Um, yeah, that was impressive. Impressive feat of hyper tapping from Super Shocky. And let's see, what's the score check here? We are 180 to 126. So Svavar didn't capitalize from that situation we just showed. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, both of them are very clean right now, so it's anyone's game. Farber to cover his board there. Oh, gets all the line bars when right after he, he got like five line bars in a row after he covered that up. And, that and, was, and one and one one to grow on. Yeah, he did he did find, he did get the one he needed there, so that's good. It's really just raining him down at this point. Let's hope for that bounty when it's actually crucial. But they seem to be coming when he needs to score, and that's as good as you can ask for. Shocky. Uh, oh, oh uh, looks like a slightly early, early, early motion to get that tuck in. Yeah. Again. This is definitely clean upable in a very nice way if you get. Yeah, there. It, I knew it. Shocky with the tucks, pulling it off, and can he just get the right there? Okay, that'll help him out. Yeah, un up. I mean, unfortunately, that's just going to eat so many lines of scoring oh. potential. And I missed whatever happened on Svavar's side there. He got a little bit of Swiss cheese, maybe a misdrop. Uh, Shockey's ready oh, for the Shockey dirty. Oh, just misdropped oh, no. again. Got, gets the piece over to the left. Needs, Needs that, that line dirty. Bar. There's the dirty. Wow. Wow, that those pieces really saved his butt in those in that moment there. That was a, a very dangerous situation, even for Hyper Tapper. I, I have to say, I wish I'd been paying slightly more attention to Svavar, because it seems like he could have opened up more of a lead, but he certainly maintained about Tetris and a half at this point. Shockey just continuing to go for those tucks despite a lack of 100% confidence with the latency, but... How do you build it if you don't stretch your muscles, right? I wouldn't be surprised if he's used to doing these tucks on uh, emulator, and it's just got instinct from. Oh, look at Vit setup. Is he gonna get what he needs? Uh, yes, he is. Bits for the Vits in chat, everybody. But will he get the actual line bar? And yes, he does. There it is. All right. And now we are neck and neck again. 556 to 563. Although Svavar definitely in a better uh, play field situation. Mm. Oh, wow. I <laughs> I'd love to see that tuck. There's no way that was tuckable, but... You, you actually, I wonder I wonder if a roller could have double tucked that. That would have been an interesting... Uh, I, I don't even think you can roll <laughs> that in. <laughs> She, oh she, no! Oh. oh wow! Oh, that's 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 not something you want to deal yeah, with. Yeah, did get that tuck to sort of help him out in the moment there, but wow, 
What a recovery Shockey from was, Shockey. Uh, double dependent. Shockey is shocking us with these <laughs> <laughs> recoveries here. Um, that was... Yeah, very dangerous. So I guess, I mean, it's probably the, the latency situation that's causing him to, you know, have these um, unfortunate... I mean, uh, that's a rough board to have a transition, oh. but he's still, he's, he's yeah. still surviving Can he this. pull this off? Just needs the right pieces. That T works out. Yep. All right. A Tetris God smile upon him. Svavar uh, nailing the S spin yeah, into the Tetris. More than 100,000 uh, points of head of Shockey now. Um, so, this, oh, got, re really needs a line bar to clean that off. Or a couple of pieces like that. Perfect cleanup by Svavar. Um, and actually, that sort of worked out for him because there was no line bar coming there. So he didn't miss out on a line bar that Super Shockey could have taken advantage mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. um, and now Shockey also clean. 150,000 points ahead. This is going to be a difficult one. Uh, Shockey we, nailing those tucks. Uh, the, he, he keeps trying them, and b more often than not, they are, in fact, working out very well. Yeah, he d definitely has a handle on those. Tetris ready for Svavar. Needs to get the triple. Very smart. And rewarded Tetris. with a Tetris. Shockey takes the safety triple. And again, just keeping that board down. But you know, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see some kill screen action. That would be nice. Maybe. Oh, wow. Look. Shockey needs that. Gets, the, gets that L. Needed that real bad. Oh no, that center well is for a Shockey. really dangerous oh, oh, no, situation. This is tight. I uh, think. I think yeah, this is it. That's it. I think that's it. Wow. Oof. Oof. They're, 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 they're keeping us and the audience on their toes. What do we got? We got the reset. We got Jamburger in chat. We got Salted in chat. We got a, a reset. Salted in the venue. Reset. It's salted in the venue and in chat. <laughs> N, N T N T. I don't know that acronym. N T N T. I don't know that one. Windows N T. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and Jamburger asks if there's been a max out. I don't know. If, I guess we already answered that earlier. Uh, not, but if not, you not at heard, this competition. Yeah, not not yet. But our fingers are crossed. The, the, there there were a couple of them last time with uh, Hydrant and Opox. Yes. Uh, a couple, couple double max out games. Yep, Svavar, Svavar took it. Yep. Yep. All right. That'll be an exciting start. We are setting start up for to game two. The, the American three, two, career one, of Svavar. Tetris. Oh, <laughs> we got a little uh, Puyo Puyo showing up there for a second. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that looks like they're having a fun time, and Puyo Puyo is a fun time. I learned a lot about modern Tetris commentary from Lyra the last time when uh, she and I were in the booth. Uh, oh yeah, I, 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 I like I, I learned about the names of so many openers, and I went home and like started looking back at like. You know, okay, what is a TKI that she keeps talking about these people setting up? Look, all you need to know about modern Tetris as a classic Tetris player is if you wish your piece could do it in NES, it probably can in modern. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the, the thing that I noticed is when I was trying to play classic, I didn't even realize how much I was relying on wall kicks in, yeah. in modern uh, when I was trying to play classic. Well, wall kicks are very important in modern, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Super Shocky is just hoping for the right pieces to get him out of this. It's a little tough. All right. There we are. Nice burns. That's the worst piece he could have gotten there. He's setting up mm. all these tucks here, though. Can he get... Not quite. That is going to add... 
a bit of difficulty to his board that Svavar hopefully can capitalize on. He's very clean right now. It's going to be tight, but no, it's going to... Nice Z and S placement by Svabar there to clean up his board. He was doing a lot of uh, flat burns to make that happen. Um, mm. Decided to add a little hole to then fix it up. There, that was probably a smart move. It could have gotten out of hand. Shocky with a, a lot of debris on his board, comparatively speaking. Oh, last second Shocky decided he was going to do a center well, and then he gave up on it. Uh, yep, he, he, he's committed to the wealth transfer. Yeah. It's working out for him. As long as he gets that line bar. There it is. It's interesting, especially when you would think uh, possibly a modern player would be more comfortable with the center well just because of the no greater variety in terms of setups that are possible. I think a lot of those really need the modern, um, like, tuck situations, right? Yeah, the That's, ability to do the T and L spins that is, you can't do. Yeah. It, with middle, um, you know, column Tetrises with those pieces just don't really work out super well. I mean, you can burn some stuff, but the tucks that you can do on modern uses. Shocky getting a great. little bit high really needs to make a lot of things happen at once here. He's doing it. All right, so now we have about a Tetris lead for Svavar. Make that two. Uh, Make that two. Um... My goodness. Super Shocky is a, almost a full 10 lines ahead because he's been doing a lot of cleanup. So in terms of pace, Svavar definitely has, I mean, he's he's ahead in points and also ahead in pace. So um, he's sitting pretty, pre <laughs> pretty, pretty right now. Uh, Jamberger commenting, yes, yeah, seven bag definitely Giving, gives you a lot more reliability, and so yes, you can being able to see further ahead. I can imagine that being a, a key feature in making uh, modern uh, more more about the center walls. That 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 is true. That is true. So probably that in conjunction with the ability to slide a little bit more on the stack. Yeah, make center walls feel less risky, even if they're. Uh, harder to maintain when you're maintaining, you know, effectively two stacks at once. As far as a little dependent right now, needs that, gets that L. Shaki's board is stabilized, but he had to use that, use that line, that long bar to skim, whereas Favar was able to use it to score. So, uh, able to use another one to score and bring it to within a single Tetris. And there's a neck... And I do believe there's another one. <laughs> and Shocky Super Shocky transitions. Takes, takes the lead into the transition at 450. Uh, you know, still very, very respectable transition. Oh, not the highest. Really seen. needs the right pieces right now. Oh, he really does. Oh, wow. Gets really bailed out at that last second there. That was easily the end of the game if he didn't get those line bars uh, when he did. Uh, Svavar is in the lead now. Um, got uh, a, you know, in the pretty lead. clean board. Go oh, oh! In the lead, wow, but behind no. on lines. Oh, no! He did an early dash shift. The line bar obviously wanted to get to the Wait, right. no, we're not done. We're not done. No, we're not done? Show the game. Show the game. Oh! Oh, we're... 
we're gonna need a replay of that for sure. Do, do, do we have the ISOs of uh, of the game of the game video? I mean, it looks like Svavar topped out. Shockey then missed the long bar. Sadly, we don't have that. Uh, yeah, let's see what happened exactly. Yeah, yeah. Svavar topped out early, but ahead, and then Shockey was so so close, and then you could see his expression when he misses yeah. that, that tap. All right, oh, so that. So th that T was really where yeah. things started going wrong. All right, so let's. Oh, okay. All right, and then. And then that. He missed his eyepiece. You, you could see the yeah. eyepiece hang. Yeah so, the, yeah, so. Yeah, so we won't be able to see, I guess, because it has. All right, we're gonna get into it. Yeah. Three, two, one, ten. Wow, that was. A real hairy test. end game there. And so Swab are up 2-0 okay. in the true finals at this point. Yeah. Uh, with uh, in the position that Shockey was in not too long ago of tournament point. I, I bet Shockey was really kicking himself there. That was a real unfortunate situation. Um, especially, you know, within seconds. It, it, and in, in fact, it always seems like that, you know, when there's top outs like that, it's... I, I've definitely seen that happen a lot of times where mm -hmm. someone else will top out right after when you think they've got it in the back. That was extremely exciting. What? Uh, says Michael Deist in chat. Yeah, our sentiments our sentiments per exactly. Yeah, no, I can't I can't can't scroll quite to the bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Super Shocky really uh, has some Swiss cheese board here. Uh Hopefully the nerves aren't getting to him. All right, keeping it clean. Svavar, well, they're they're tied right now, so I guess Svavar has also had to do some cleanup um, or some burning. All right, Svavar is such as ready. Super Shockey is one off the bottom, so he's going to have to, well, yeah, still just getting these doubles and singles, really not building the Tetrises that he needs to win this next game against Svavar. Nice, calm. 100,000 points, 130,000 points at 43 lines. Nothing right, and then nothing, nothing too crazy. So Shaki has just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna, I like, like my plate, you know, just a little bit dirty. Exactly. <laughs> not, not gonna clean it up. Just going what, one what, off the floor, and. It's just you know, one. He can he can do it because he's a tapper. It's all it's. How, it's how much is one line it. gonna matter? Well, yeah. we'll find out. That we will. It's all, I almost said right. You are Ken. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Ken like, MXC references in my head here. <laughs> right, I'll take you are. It. It's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> yep. Seems to be playing out okay for him though. Um, only about uh, Tetris and a half behind, uh, but again, a little bit ahead in numbers. Svavar, relaxed, consistent, just letting it go. Oh, going for some more tucks. Svavar is cosplaying as <laughs> Shocky a little bit there. I mean, hey, you know. I, that was a tuck that I didn't feel was necessary. I'm not sure. I'm just sort of curious why he did it in that moment. Maybe there was something he, he saw that I didn't see. I mean, um, you know. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. More tucks. Shocky, meanwhile, with uh, a column two uh, waiting on the bar. Oh, taking the safety triple. Column two is still ready and waiting. Column two, I think, waiting is for life just to begin. as safe as... Uh, you know, full right column in terms of how you can get your pieces over. Uh, it is true, but uh, you have to do a skill stop or because uh, you can't rely on the wall to line it up properly when you're That's, just charging that. That is true. I, for me, I, uh, skill stops, I feel like, are 
sort of second nature to dust players, although I don't know how it works as a hyper tapper. Um, I mean, from yeah. what I've seen, hyper tapping is. Uh, I mean, I, I, it, it's clearer, I think, I'm saying, to conceptualize and rolling, like knowing the number you need to go for right, immediately as the piece yeah. comes in. I think that's how, at least, that's how at least some of the people I study who I saw learning hyper tapping mm. as it was coming out, like really were like, have to think like four, three, four, three, right, for each individual piece. Um, very clean sloping board from Svavar. Uh, I mean, Sv Svavar has just, you know, I mean, he, he, I don't know whether it's, you know, unlocked another gear or just, you know, uh, you know, dr drank exactly the right amount of that apple juice to uh, find his Balmer peak uh, for any of you uh, software engineers in the audience. Apparently, skill stop is also a fighting game term. No, that I was talking about classic versus modern. Oh. <laughs> All right, 437 exactly for Svavar and Super Shocky behind about 60,000 points. Uh, Definitely can come back. Um, and that's back. a transition for Shockey yeah. uh, at pretty 413. Well. These Tetrises are now worth a little bit more. Svavar could 500, or you know what, 489. That's okay, too. Uh, trying oh. to... Oh, no, not not going to center well. Yeah, that I as he was doing that, I was thinking that would be pretty risky for him to do a full center well there. So yeah. I'm glad he didn't because want to survive on 19. Let's let's transfer it. Get the board clean. You've got you've got you've got a lead right now. Don't go too crazy. Then 530k for Svavar, 506 for Shaki. Shaki uh, still doing his signature tucks. Slamming even down the Simul Tetris. Oh, all right. F definitely fixable, but a little bit of cleanup necessary for a Super Shaki there. And it's done. Svavar got a little high up, but also cleaned himself up. Yeah, I mean, take take the triple rather than stay in the realm of a double long bar dependency on 19. That's uh, oh, certainly is he gonna, right. Wow, he got a lot of line bars when he didn't need them and was just... Oh, just, he, he, oh. he's... Okay, that's it. That was, yeah. that was very tense, but good on Svavar for keeping a clear head through that solve. Yeah, but you... That's exactly when you don't want all those line bars. He was basically one other, like, non-line bar piece away from needing the line bar. Shockey has, at the higher speed, actually pulled ahead, even though his efficiency has not uh, seemed quite maximized. Svavar taking the lead back, but you know, now... Oh, very risky by Svavar. Will it work out for him? Oh, he's doing the triple. All right. We got right. a Tetris, so now Super Shocky has a pretty, well, a, a lead. He has a lead, for sure. It, not insurmountable, but... I mean, it's... Oh, definitely what Svavar needed at that moment. And uh, as we are uh, coming up into uh, level 27... Oh, uh, needs, needs that line bar to clean 26, that up, rather. Or... Doing it one by one. Svavar gets the pieces he needs to clean this up, get Tetris ready again. And, oh, really needs the right piece. Needs that line bar. Get that bar. We need the he bail. He gets it over to the left. Ooh, oh staying my. ready. And there it is. Svavar surviving, getting the pieces he needs at the last second there. That was really impressive work. We Sh are... Shockey managing to maintain that yeah, lead at through least. this point. 
Wow, this is this is this, this is it. This, this is, is a it. nail biter. We are we are only a few lines away from the end. No max out here, but we will def well, hopefully see kill screen. And there's kill screen on the right from Super Shocky and Svavar. I I mean it's a Tetris. We'll see. We'll see. He's only got one Tetris. I, I don't see how this is gonna quite work, but it could happen. Yeah. Oh. oh, super, super shocky takes this game. Would the double wow. have done it? Would the double, the, a double no, wouldn't a double, have done double it. wouldn't have done it. But if, if he had like thought ahead of time to do a uh, center well, center well, and then try and set up two he, Tetrises, he, it's, it's, po it's certainly a, a possible. But uh, I think he, he just didn't think he would he need it, or you know wasn't thinking about it at the time. But that was, I mean, super shocky showing, he, he's he's a fighter. <laughs> he's 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 not letting it go without a fight. So. Uh, uh, Jabber Grass, something I've wondered. Are classic players able to easily tell if they are in the lead or not? A lot uh, of them screen look for sure. So, so uh, easily is, you know, the, the operative word in that <laughs> sentence. It's definitely possible to look over at the other player's screen. Many of them do so. Uh, in this particular venue, uh, you don't... Uh, they, they aren't getting the commentators piped in to them, so they aren't... They aren't hearing us score checking as much as the, is the case in other tournaments. Uh, part of why commentators score check is because in many cases they are being piped in uh, so that they don't have to try and look. Um, it's definitely possible um, when you, uh, I, I, uh, again, this is something I learned, uh, fast Tetris and slow Tetris. Uh, is the terminology for when you have uh, a delay during the line clear or not. <laughs> Wouldn't you, you, don't you always have a delay during a Tetris? In, in classic, but uh, Puyo Puyo, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, connected doesn't, and oh. a lot, some of the other modern variants are just like, it happens and the next piece is right, is right in. Um, right? No, basically it, every modern game has line clear delay. The, the, the one the, exception is the fan-made Tetrio, Tetrio, which is instant. Right. Yes, but Tetri Puyo Puyo Tetris and yes. Tetris Effect Connected, no, there's still a delay. Right. Unless Puyo you're in the zone. Right. Mm. Tetrio is the is fast Tetris. So you're just saying fast and slow are the, terms for different types of Tetris right, uh, games yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah understood. Mo mo mod oh, okay. Uh, yeah. The, I mean, so honestly, that seems very difficult for Tetrio then. Like, <laughs> I, I rely on that extra half a, you know, Everyone does. a couple milliseconds there, whatever it is. Like, it, it is, especially when, you know, when I think it is a Tetris, Tetrio it's a and J-Stress are the ones that mm. uh, are, are fast. That's right. All right. Uh, right. I remember because th this was something I learned a couple ago when Puyo Puyo and uh, Lyra referred to it as a slow Tetris, and I said, what? Because <laughs> Puyo Puyo doesn't seem like the word slow belongs anywhere in the same universe. Interesting. <laughs> what was I about to say? Mm -hmm. There is one weird exception, and we don't know why it is. In Puyo Puyo Tetris, if you get a perfect clear, there's no line clear delay for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. The next piece is just ready to go. Well, I mean, at least you probably are, you know, it doesn't really matter that you, uh, you just know thinking about where yeah. you need to place that. Really. Not too much, but it is strange. Fewer, yeah, yeah, that, that is very few, strange. Fewer questions. Yeah. Svavar having uh, built up a, a, a rather strange build has needed to eat a lot of that. Uh, in burns rather than scores, but still keeping pace very, very reasonably well. Uh, with fully 60,000 60, ahead of, Sh of Shockey. I'm curious if Svavar is going to be going aggressive or playing a little safer. Considering he does have one up. I mean... Oh, that was something where I was expecting a flip, but he he didn't there. All right, Svavar's got to... I mean, it, well, it looks like an answer to your question. He's trying to keep as much aggression as he reasonably yeah. can. But, uh, I mean, look, you're, you're that high up on the left. You're going to have to take a couple triples. Yeah, all right. Well, that allowed Super Shocky to catch up. Um, and luckily, he's, he's basically out of it now with this next piece, but... Oh, or with this next piece. Um, yeah, pretty close game. Svavar, less than a Tetris behind. All right, 
Shaki is stabilizing. Stabilizing brilliantly, beautifully. And that's another Tetris. A little bit of a spire coming up in the center there. Shocky don't care. I do feel like I'm seeing Strawberry burning more often than he was in previous games. Yeah, no, this game... Uh, look, maybe he really just wants to make sure he stays in extremely comfortable situations. Right. And, like, if he's going to win, he he, know, he feels like he's going to win comfortably. He doesn't want to have to, like, clutch it out. So stay comfortable, stay in your comfort zone, right in the pocket. Keep knocking nope. him down. Ooh, split double burn. Not, not stuck in that for too long. Yeah, it was a good recovery, but... Yeah, he was, he was doing pretty well, and that definitely slowed him down a little bit. Oh, and this, if he gets a tuck, that, that will help. All right, that's pretty, All right. pretty make, safe there. The square, make, perfect. Make, make, make it happen, Svavar. Make it happen. Give, give, give him something. Anything, Lord, as they say. Needs to fill that. All right, and now he's Finally. clean for that Tetris. Oh, nice. And perfect timing because we are only five or six lines away from the transition for Strawbar. If that had gotten out of hand up there, it would have been the end of Strawbar. Very no, that, that, that's very true. Board health near transition is absolutely crucial. Nice. And, okay. Oh, and we still have a little bit more. Oh, and now it's time for transition, and here we go. Or first transition. Do they do they actually call it that? I still think they call it just transition. Uh, it depends on the kind of players that you have, I guess. That's true. If they're able to play on those speeds. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Favar. We have, what is the score here? Okay, we got about a Tetris and a half behind. Um, well, as, the, as, the, as the point values of Tetris increase, uh, yeah, we're, we, we are dealing with about that much. But Svavar pouring it on. Oh, that was oh, not a, a great placement for Super Shocky. Yeah, Shocky's gonna, Shocky may need to do a little bit more burning to get that yeah. low enough to be built around. Now, how fast can he clean this up? Can he be super efficient with it? Uh, Svavar is in a, 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 a Pretty similar efficient. version. Oh, oh, wow. That was... Oh, no. Svavar. Oh, wow. He... Can get out of this, but that oh, look at that roll. L spin to to keep to keep your burn options open. Yeah, he really clutched that one out. Nice job for Svavar there. That will definitely put him in uh, behind though with uh, hey. Super Shocky's board looking pristine. Look, you can't win if you've topped out though. So can he get this dirty? That would really help him out, and he does. Now, where is he going to do? He's going to transition. To a yeah, he's, uh, he's, is he, is he's he going, going center. To the, no, he's not going to the right center. well. Yeah. Okay, good. He wants to move the well, so he he's successful there. Um, and let's see, eighty something thousand little points bit behind. Oh, that's frustrating. That is so frustrating. All right, eighty thousand. All right, Svavar needs to be. Aggressive and immaculate. At oh my this goodness! Point. He really needs that line bar. Oh, or oh, perfect piece. He needed that to survive. Shocky having a little bit of difficulty on his side. Spavar. Oh wow! This Spavar be... needs perfection, but yeah, Shocky really also. Does. Oh, gets the pieces he needs. If Shocky uh, doesn't get out, of... Shocky has been stuck in quite a bit of a dig, dig burning situation oh for a while. Oh, oh no, no Spavar. Spavar! Really, I don't. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh. we have a double <laughs> decider here. Where that this, these are some. Look at these two people. They are just. <laughs> they are just going back and forth and back and forth. This is. This is some good. Tetris the, action. I I I I. That is some absolutely insane. The longest possible set of the true finals. <laughs>
But it's very clear that, you know, there's no place either one of them would rather be right now. Yeah. Man, last game starting now. I'm really enjoying the uh, players experiencing double elimination <laughs> game 10 reset. <laughs> This is this is so, uh, just this is where Cinderella it's stories rare. come from. It's rare. It's so you good. I'm, I love this. This is precious moments. <laughs> I, I hope we're not making it so that you guys are finishing your other games here at midnight. Uh, uh, I'll answer that with a little bit of a flex. So we have the the stream set up and uh, two other setups, set uh, all like set up in a way that. We've started those brackets, and they're all still being like individually recorded and all that. Good Just stuff. not live streamed. Yeah, correct. Gotcha. So no vods right. will be lost, and uh, hopefully we don't fall behind. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's. I mean, that's a solid flex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all integrated into yeah. the the bracket software, Start GG. Nice. Uh, that we use. So Very cool. they just send it to Station Whatever, and then that that setup starts recording on its own. All right, all these tucks. Shocky pulls every one of them off. Uh, and we have Svava with a slight lead. All right, very dependent board for Super Shocky. That is... That's a... Uh, yeah, he really needs to start cleaning up some here. Some interesting place piecements right there. <laughs> oh... All right. Really got to take that spire down. Double dependency is never yeah. what you want to see. All right. Cleaned it up there. Svavar, uh, well, I guess didn't really take advantage as much of that situation. Or I guess it wasn't burning. It was just dependencies. Um, not too much burning. So about a Tetris lead for Svavar. Oh wow, last second uh, adjustment there for Super Shocky. I, I don't know if that helped him. I think that might have been, uh, yeah, still still doing the cleanup. These two are in the zone. They have their their game faces are almost exactly the same, just neutral. We don't have any in, in, intense mm -hmm. Yanni stares here. These are just people who are in that flow state. I mean, it's 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 hard not to get in there when you're really right in the pocket of a, a very solid game. But my goodness, the you know we talk about the Tetris uh, marathon games that exist now that it's possible to keep going past the kill screen. Oh, so I'm gonna interrupt you here because we have a dangerous situation for Super Shocky. Yeah, he really needs some good pieces, and he gets them. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Entirely fair. I was just saying that the double elimination uh, is a whole other type of marathon yes. situation, even yeah. if. We aren't dealing with individual 40-minute games where people are starting to see colors. Yeah. Uh, I believe, so Svabar, I believe, has played, well, this is his 40th game of the day, I think, if I'm doing, if my math is correct. Uh, maybe even fifth, uh, huh? maybe, maybe 30th. Well, it's been been a heck of a run for both of these players here going you know started from the bottom now we're here <laughs> pretty solid lead from Svavar now okay. really hmm yeah, Svavar just needed to start cleaning that up. Um, it was, that tuck was not coming that he was trying to wait for. Uh, but he is almost 100,000 points in the lead right now. And, and that is that is a very solid lead at, yeah. uh, at this stage of the game. But, you know, uh, the... Stranger things have happened. <laughs> no, we, 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 we've even seen Shockey make up some pretty strong deficits. 
uh, as the speed and as the speed does increase. Four hundred six to three thirty nine. Shocky bangs down a couple Tetrises separated by a single as the board starts uh, clean and pristine. Strawbar went for the dirty and it paid out for him right away. Um, We're in a good. Yeah, he's he's being a little risky again now that it's game five. It's, it's all uh, or nothing. Yeah. It all comes down to this. Oh, okay. This this board needs needs that square. It gets that. There were not many other things that could have fixed that board. Shocky in a very calm situation. Another dirty. Coming into 124 lines, I think we, I think we're gonna see Svavar actually try and burn this all the way yeah, down. Yeah, he, he took that triple. It was probably a smart move on his behalf. Um, uh, oh, especially during oh, no. transition, oh, couldn't no. get that over. I don't think this is survivable with his abilities, uh, dash abilities. So that, but now it really is all up to Super Shocky to match, uh, catch up. Gets to the left. It's a chase down. It is a chase down, and oh, it's certainly wow. a chase Those down that is achievable. Those pieces are exactly what he wanted there, um, but he needs, about he needs that Tetris. Tetris. Or, there are two Tetrises, I think, here. He, oh, he no! He needs that bar. Oh! oh. And he can't get it over! Oh. Wow! What an end to an amazing 10-game set between Super Shocky and Svavar. That was... <laughs> We're hearing cheer. I don't know if you can hear the cheering in the mics here, I don't but know there if is can, some but loud, loud cheering from our audience here at zero, zero. That is some of the <laughs> most intense back and forth I've seen uh, in, in a long time. Ladies I mean, and gentlemen, both and neither. Svavar is in New York, and he made it here. It's clear that he is here to play, and he is not. He's representing representing Europe, representing <laughs> the older generation of the Let's scene. watch the replay of Svavar's reaction here. Uh, and 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 we're seeing and we're seeing. It looks like <laughs> looks like Shockey still has it at this point. Yeah, I mean that. This is if, if he had decided to this. burn, he might have been and right safe, here. But right oh! there. Oh. <laughs> oh man. And I don't think there was any way, even with hyper tapping, to get that over Whoosh. because of that S there. Oh. oh wow! Some of the some of the best games happen here. <laughs> Absolutely wild! <laughs> Arms to the sky for Svavar. What that, a what a celebration! We're gonna have to get Svavar back here for our post game interview. That that that's true. That's uh, true. That is a thing that will have to happen. But I have to say, absolutely wonderful showing for Svavar. Uh, upsetting, uh, arguably an upset, uh, at least based on current stats, although I don't know exactly Shockey's record in class. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's a Sh Shockey question is, there. Shockey is uh, still the reigning connected champion, yeah. as I understand it. Uh, but, I mean, they, they were really tight. I mean, in terms of their personal best, they are within, like, I think, a, you know, one point two for mm -hmm. both of them, something like that, with around that time, uh, around that um, score. And so they're just matched like really closely in many, many ways. And this game, I mean, we should have known it going into it that it was bound to happen. I mean, um, it, it, I, I was watching in the car, actually, the stream between you and Svavar. I thought you might end up in finals. It could have happened. Uh, it could. I, I guess it could have. All, all right, right, let's go get Svavar. I'll... I'll uh, let, let's get him in. Pull him uh, in. Oh, I mean, so are, are we going to do Shockey as well? Then it, it, would, it should be Shockey, then Svavar, if we're doing them both. Uh, well, I guess go find out. Yeah. Do we have time to do that? Are we doing this or are we move, ro rolling right along? Uh. All right. Sh 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 Shocky, how are you feeling after uh, 10 games? <laughs> I am tired, but also, like, exhilarated. I mean, those were some absolutely wild performances on both sides. Yeah, I have to agree. Savavar put up some really big scores, and, like, I think even, like, at least half the games, the scores were really close. They were. Top well, yeah. Most of the time, they were very tight. Uh, you both had roughly 600k transitions. Really? At uh, the... 
second game in your last set, uh, se second or third game in your last set. That's crazy. I remember we had a killer game. I didn't know 600K. So that's it, that's it, really it, nice. It was it was something like 580 to 570. It was it was very close at that point. I'm proud of that. <laughs> uh, I mean, as well you should be. Uh, yeah. is, is this your first time playing Svavar? Yeah, my first time meeting Svavar actually. So yeah, I didn't know he was this cracked at a uh, in TSC. I thought he was just really good at PAL, but he really showed up today. And yeah, I, I believe yeah. even uh, the Europe the CTEC playing with NTSC. He's a three-time champion, I think. Wow. It's uh, him, him and Yanni were going back and forth during that particular era. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, and, and of course we saw him. Uh, he, he's been to the CTWC in 2018 mm. uh, as far as his American exploits, but uh, this is, you know, first time in first time in New York City. Yeah, it was, it was like an absolute honor playing against him and just putting up so many scores that were really close to each other. I mean, you, yeah. you had in, incredibly well thought games, like taking yeah. it to a decider twice. Oh, man. I'm <laughs> I thought I, I thought I had it in the bag when I had two games in the first set. I wasn't done. It was, no, it, he, could, he couldn't let it up. Couldn't let it up, but you knew, you knew it wasn't going to be easy yeah. after that. However, it fell out. Yeah. Uh, so th this was first time playing Svavar, first time meeting Svavar. Uh, definitely not your first time in the finals here at uh, <laughs> Zeno Zero, though. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I mean, how, how how are you feeling about Classic overall at this point? <laughs> I'm feeling good. Like, I think this is one of the few times where I get to do a like a marathon kind of mm -hmm. uh, practice with with uh, Classic, because usually when I play Classic, I just play one or two games, and I'm like, all right, I'm beat. But mm -hmm. trying to last for 10 games in a row, that that puts a lot of strain on, like, it's a lot of mental strain. It's also a lot of physical strain on your arm if you hyper tap. Mm -hmm. And I would assume the same if you roll as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, I mean, is 10 games now making you think more about, uh, uh, you're still tapping at this point as yes, you play it. Yes, I'm still tapping. I mean, d does 10 games make learning rolling more appealing? Oh, that's a, <laughs> That's a good question. I, I just don't have an NES controller at home to practice with, so. Gotcha. Well, uh, <laughs> maybe that's in the distant future. Uh, yeah. so, so something to think about, certainly. Uh, we were actually talking about how we have the marathon games that go beyond kill screen, but now you know, different kind of marathon where you're dealing yeah. with double limbs. Yeah, I, I thought that we, the era of like long games is over, but clearly, just even just going to transition is a six-minute game. So just doing that every game is really. It, it's, it tires you out more than you expect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the absolutely stellar performance uh, in Classic, uh, complimenting your performances in Connected and other games. Uh, are you in some other games today as well? Yes, I've signed up for everything, so I still have. I think I'm holding up the Tech and PPT bracket. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, uh, <laughs> oh, let's let you get going to do yeah. that. Well, hey, pleasure Thank as you. always. Thank let's you, get Svavar in. My, my very great pleasure. And again, congratulations on an excellent performance. Thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah. Svavar. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, who do I gotta play in each bracket? <laughs> you're, going, you're going straight into <laughs> playing more games. He's 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 going straight in, and it's absolutely wild. Svavar, welcome, welcome. Uh, grab your headset right there, and uh, then. All right. We got you. Well, congratulations <laughs> on your victory, your breakout New York City competition <laughs> debut, hard fought after 10 games, double decider, bracket reset, victory to you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel? I feel great. Uh, I, I mean, I, I am exhausted after... I mean, what was that? Uh, I think... 10 <laughs> game Dan said finals. something. Uh, there was, the, you know, so 10 games... Just now. Uh, yeah, just now. But then, you know, I went up right after the loser's mm -hmm. bracket mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. match. <laughs> so. so, so yeah, no, you, you and you had, you had uh, enough TV be best for five, me. Best of five, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> fair, fair enough. No, be, uh, go to bed early. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we, we we move on to everything else New York City has to offer. Well, uh, those are some absolutely insane games you had going there. 600K transition in one of them, just about. Yeah. Uh, and taking it out. Uh, so how, 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 this is your first time playing Shockey. How did that work? How did you feel about all that? Oh, I mean, he, he puts uh, pressure on you, for sure. Uh, uh, he's extremely consistent. Uh, every time I glanced at his screen, I could see that, you know, I was either... 
a Tetris behind or, uh, you know, dead even mm -hmm. uh, most of the time. So the, 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 the guy is a brilliant Tetris player. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure. Pleasure. Uh, first couple sets, you actually had, I, I mean, so as you mentioned, like, you know, you were you were ahead in a lot of the early games a lot of the time. So if you're looking over and seeing when he was coming up, uh, you know, it's like, uh, we, we, we were watching it like there were definitely points where like he had overcome like massive leads uh, to, to keep it tight so absolutely true seeing that consistency yeah I think uh, uh, so I I tend to if I see that I have a comfortable lead then I uh, I don't take unnecessary risks mm -hmm. uh, and I sort of see uh, wait and see how his game is going to play out if I need to keep my aggression or if I need to, uh, you know, or if I can sort of keep it more relaxed well, or if I need to step on the gas. <laughs> we, we definitely saw a couple games at those points where you were definitely, uh, you know, but, but he, he would transition ahead of you in, uh, you know, real time, but you were actually even still ahead in score. It was actually reminding me of some of Jonas's old games, where you, where, where you would see that be the situation with him almost every game. So oh man, that's a that's a very flattering comparison. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, uh, he, <laughs> his influence is everywhere in the scene. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that's for that's for sure. Well, yeah. excellent. And uh, so, what 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 are your plans for after this? How are you how are you spending your your prize pool? <laughs> oh, I I want something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I had no the, idea. The, the, the $10 entry if I had fees to guess, go into a pool. If I had to so guess, I think it might be 70, 20, 10. So no 70% way. of the total prize pool. So there are I four people, money? $40, 70% of that. So <laughs> not so, uh, too much. So, but yeah. so, so you won. Uh, Something like that, yeah. You won a beer uh, in, in Manhattan, New York prices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll take it. Um, well, what I'm looking forward to doing is uh, watching the Tetris Effect tournament. I love Tetris Effect. Uh, I don't know if the Puyo tournament is still going on, but... Um, yeah, I think they're all still going on, and yeah. uh, they're just waiting to see who they'll get in for the commentary okay. on those. I, I just don't envy uh, Super Shocky right now, having to go straight to play... <laughs> Another match after. Well, you know, tennis. after after recovering from that <laughs> yeah. handy thrashing you dispensed. <laughs> well, excellent, Spavar. Pleasure yeah. as always to see you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what? Well, welcome to New York. Uh, welcome to the New York Tetris scene. Thank you. What an absolutely excellent debut <laughs> performance for that circumstance. Uh, we got some more games coming up. Uh, it looks like John, uh, are you coming back in or are you going? No, uh, John is going to be facing Baseball Boy in Puyo Puyo Tetris Winter Semis. Yeah, okay. Understood. So, All right. Well, they've got the Winter Semis coming up. All right. Uh, so we'll I'm talk our, later. Uh, <laughs> I, I, will, I will be coming out right after this. Uh, I think okay. uh, I think I think we might get Lyra the in or some, somebody else on comms. Uh, the camera's right there. Ah. Hello, Iceland and Denmark. <laughs> we got Michael Deist in the chat. All right, we're going to go right. to a short break, and we'll be back with Puyo Puyo Tetris. Take care. Stay tuned. <laughs>